Pagination, a necessary tool to understand if you need to extract data from all available pages, be it Google Images or Google News. This video is all about explaining how to use SERP API pagination across all available search engines with code examples. We're currently working on improving pagination across all engines in order to standardize them. To get started, head over to SERP API, hover over documentation and click on the playground page. The first thing you should do is to see whether search engine supports pagination or not. If supports, each search engine will have different pagination parameters, but some search engines such as Google have identical pagination parameters. Once you saw that search engine have pagination, you need to see corresponding JSON key from the returned output. We're looking for the SERP API pagination hash key. This is from where pagination will be happening. But how do I use this return data to paginate to the next page inside the code? Let's start with the first approach, a stable one. It works both with token and non-token based search engines. Token pagination is where token is being passed to the certain query parameter. That accepts only tokens responsible for pagination. Usually, token based pagination is where the page needs to be scrolled. An example is a Google Maps reviews. Non-token pagination simply increments page number in order to paginate to the next page. For example, 1, 2, 3 and so on represents first, second, and the third pages accordingly. There's some search engines that represent second page as 11, 21 is for the third page and so on. Different engines have different pagination approaches. An example is a Bing search. Stable approach uses SERP API pagination JSON key. We need to check if next page key is present inside SERP API pagination key. And if present, update to the next page. Now hold, I know what you're thinking. Yes, this is a long line of code. However, reading it several times would make more sense. All that it's doing is splitting returned URL from the next JSON key in parts as a dictionary and updates return query result to the Google search class with new search parameters data. In some cases, for example while using eBay search engine, besides checking the API pagination hash key, we need to also check if the current page is being incremented while we're paginating. By comparing the current page number with the next page number, and if the current page is equal to the next page, we need to break out of the while loop, otherwise we need to update next page data to eBay search class. We're currently working on making it more user-friendly. Now to the second approach, which is the most straightforward. Note that it works only with non-token based pagination search engines. We need to call pagination method from the search, then iterate over all pages. And once iterated over all pages, we need to iterate one more time, but this time over individual page and extract the data. That's all. The third method if something goes wrong. This method needs certain pagination parameter to be manually incremented at the end of the loop in order to paginate to the next page. If you want to see pagination examples across all supported engines, head over to SERP API Video Archive Repository with code examples for all supported search engines in Python, or visit official SERP API package library with the language you're the most comfortable with. Let us know in the comments if you have any issues, or write us directly on our social media pages which you can find in the description of this video. Happy coding, see you in the next video.